folks, welcome back to My Kitten Reads. I'm Eleanor and this is my 2022 reading stats and 2023 reading goals video. Uh, yeah, so first things first, my physical TBR, which is the bookshelves in my bedroom where I keep all my physical books that I haven't read yet. So unfortunately, compared to the 166 books that were on it last year, there are currently 188 books on it. It was 189 at the start of the year, but I have read one. So that's not going great. But I'll talk more about that later. Um, my books total read in 2022 was, as usual, the goal was 120. I read 120. I only managed to read 120 because I read three comics on the 31st of December. So... I've set that as my goal again for 2023, um, but I am probably, I'll talk about this again a bit later, will probably reduce some of my restrictions that I had this year, or one restriction in particular. Then, so when I divided it into fiction, non-fiction and poetry, so there were nine non-fiction books, two poetry books, and 109 things that were fiction or at least majority fiction. There is poetry and non-fiction, for example, in Uncanny Magazine, but I consider it mainly a source of fiction. So, uh, that's pretty powerful of the course for me. Occasionally a bit of poetry, occasionally usually audiobooks of uh, non-fiction, although there was at least one that was read physically this year, and then mostly I read fiction. So, I do count short fiction in the fiction category, but there are, well, I count a couple of things that are, that are subcategorized in terms of type in the fiction category. So short fiction, I read 40 things that would count as short fiction this year. So novellas, um, individual short stories, uncanny magazine, short story collections, those kind of things. I read 40 of those this year. I read a lot of novellas this year, actually. So, and a lot of uncanny. Uh, so yeah, and then what's next on my list graphic novels i read seven so these also generally count as fiction unless of course there are non-fiction graphic novels which is possible but i read uh seven graphic novels this year of 2022 then we get to the gender divide on my authors or editors so my category of this is sort of non-binary or multiple genders or I don't know their genders so this this year I think it was both multiple gendered editors and uh non-binary authors there are a few non-binary authors actually um so I read nine under that category I read 13 male authors and I read 98 female authors so I continue on with my uh tendency to read a lot of women and it was a lot of women this year actually like I have actually in the past read more male authors but for some reason this year, male authors just weren't on my list. Honestly, most of those male authors were probably Hugo Award stuff, maybe? Who knows? Anyway, so that's the gender breakdown. Then I read 14 audiobooks. I read, out of the 120 books, 40 of them were rereads and 80%, 80 of them were new. So uh, pleased with that, um, considering how much I used to reread. Um, then there's my diversity goals, as they are, uh, which my goal is usually to beat, equal or beat last year. Last year I read, uh, sorry, in 2021, I read 17 authors of books by authors of colour and 17 books with queer content. Uh, with reasonably significant queer content, queer characters. Um, so unfortunately, I did not quite reach the POC goal. I only read 16 books by authors that were not white this year. So I'm a bit disappointed in myself. Um, yeah, so not great. And then I, the goal is also 17 for queer content. I read 28 books with queer content. So I don't know what that's going to mean for this year's goal. But um, I was quite pleased with the amount of queer content that I read. So, uh, yay. Uh, so that was great. So my goal, other goal for the year was to basically pick one book to read out of my diversity TBR jar per month. 
I didn't manage it. So I'm not sure of the exact numbers, but for the last few months, couple of months of the year, I didn't pick out anything. And even before that, there are a couple of books that I picked out and didn't start. Um, and there are still a couple of books on my currently reading shelf uh, that I have started but not gotten much further with. So uh, that wasn't hugely successful, but as I will talk about soon, the TBR jail will still feature this year. So my goals for 2020, 120 books. So one of the things I think that reduced my number of books on Goodreads for the goal in 2022 was the fact that I did not include on Goodreads any rereads of Jane Austen variation novels. And I do a lot of that. I mean, I still read a lot of new Jane Austen variation novels, but I did not include any rereads. So, yeah, that may that part of, might be part of what made reaching the goal of 120 quite difficult for me this year. I'm not going to be so strict about it. I might not include all the ones I reread. It depends on how I feel. Um, if it's, if it's for example ones that I've reread a lot, I might not include them but I'm not also going to stop myself including ones when I reread them so as long as it's only once um because I do sometimes reread stuff multiple times a year uh but it only counts on goodreads once so that will give me a little bit more flexibility and hopefully make it a little bit easier to reach the goal because I was a bit stressed about it in December um so there's that so my other main goal apart from the usual POC queer content goals, which is to meet or improve on them. Like I said, I'm not sure how it's going to go with queer this year, given how many I read in 2022, but I definitely want to include, uh, very much increase my uh, authors of colour. Um, but my main other thing, and I'm going to have some like sub goals, is to reduce reduce my tbr reduce my physical tbr actually read the books that i have um i won't be restricted to just the books that i have but it's just it keeps getting bigger um and part of it is because i get a new our crate box every month so that's 12 books automatically um but the thing is this year i did i did pull some books off the off the shelf for tbr jar i did in fact, binge read all of the Agatha Christie's that were on my TBR shelf. Um, and there were some other things that I read that were on my TBR shelf that I just didn't get around to. So that I just, and still it's grown by like 22 books. So the main aim for 2023 is to reduce the number of, um, of, of books on my physical TBR shelf so at bare minimum to break even if I buy no other books I still have to read at least 12 to make up for the 12 outright books that will be coming in um but I will need to read more than that because there are going to be books that I buy I mean I've got one on pre-order right now so <laughs> so I really need to read the books so there are two things I'm going to do to try and help with that goal. One, I'm going to continue to attempt to use the diversity TBR jar. So there's still a whole bunch of books in that. Um, there's probably a few more I can add into that that I've required. So if I can try and pick one of those out and read it up per month, I might not manage that quite, but it'll help. The other thing that might help is I want to try and tick off some of the series that I have stalled that I have not finished, that I have not caught up to. Um, so I did a count earlier in my little notebook that I used to sometimes track that stuff in. And there are 18 series that, there are a couple that I left out because I stopped reading them for various reasons, but there are 18 books that I, 18 series where I, either they are complete series and I haven't finished them, or they're an ongoing series that I am not currently up to date on. So 18. Um, so my goal is to get that number down as well. So um, they're not all uh, physical books, but there are a few series where I have physical books sitting on the shelf waiting to be read. 
um so those will be my focus um but yeah so it may also involve some rereading because there are a few series there that i have not actually it's been a long time since i read the books so uh that i have read so i might need to reread to catch myself up and then continue um but uh there are also um books that i should be just be able to pick up like, for example, I have just finished my reread of where I was up to with the Wayward Children series. I now have last year's book to read and I've got this year's book on pre-order, which should be arriving soon. So um, that's the goal. That's the goal above, above and beyond my usual ones is to reduce my physical TBR. Actually reduce. Actually reduce. It should be less than 188 uh, by this time next year so fingers crossed <laughs> not sure how it's gonna go but i really do need to read the books that i own so yeah that's a thing um yeah so anyway that's where i'm up to that's my stats for last year and my goals for this year um if you want to talk about your goals or your reading stats for last year anything interesting feel free to comment down below Please like and subscribe and I will see you all again really soon. Bye.